mountain bike and I've been in some spills and I just, you know, like the right side of my mm -hmm. teeth, I just busted up really bad. Well, you know, to be honest, I, I probably went to like uh, 10 different dentists and I kind of, uh, Well, I have high expectations of doctors, let's say, and I, mean, I really have never had a good dentist, and I just, so I've become very, you know, over the last few years, I'm just very blunt, and I, I go to see a dentist, and I just say, listen, uh, I expect perfection, can you do this? Interview your doctors, don't try to find a doctor that will agree with you, and, you know, you'll just make a mistake if you're looking for that. Um, they're the pros, but also, you know, question them a lot. Kind of, you're the patient, you're giving them the money. They work for you, so you're the boss, right? So, you know, if, if you want to act like a boss, act like a boss. And if you don't use them, you're basically firing them. So, that's the way I see it. Thank you. Oh, staff's cool. You know, had never problems. They're nice, um, which is good. Which is also important. You know, because I've had good doctors, but their staffs are, you know, pain in the ass. So uh, I've switched because of the staff before. But see, I'm a pain in the ass as a patient. You know, I expect all this perfection. You know, so you know, I, I'm sure doctors don't like seeing me come in their door always. You know, so I'm not gonna act like the doctors are always the problem. I mean, I'm a big problem. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big problem. I'm a high maintenance guy. So, you know, I won't throw all the blame at them. Mm -hmm.